So we're starting this morning off and Derek shows up and just wants to plug into my car for some reason. Because nobody wants to hear this thing idle like this, dude. I hate this car so much, but I hate the idle even more that I'm here to fix it. <laughs> it just doesn't have an eye act, so it's... I don't care what it has or has not. It, it would run good if it had an IAC, and Jimmy did plug into it a little bit, and then we had complications. It just surges until it gets warm, and then it's good. Derek, you don't think that sounds good? So Derek is a big fan of Lynx, so he's gonna, he feels right at home in here. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not. It's not surging. Technically, the car shouldn't surge, but the VTC was all in cahoots. It wasn't set up properly. So, I mean, people, stock ECUs, Link, Haltech, it doesn't matter. Derek knows it all. As you can see. And believe it or not, Derek started off with Hondas. And here he is again. He, he loves it. I'm back. So good. I think it sounds good. It's just raspy as f I owe you my life, Derek. Let's see, what, let's see what's real. I thought it was gonna do that thing with yeah. the where you gotta cycle it. Come on, stop playing with them. Thank you, Derek, so much. I didn't even ask him, he just came over here and was like, we gotta do this I right was now. Asked, I was asked by Johnny. And yeah, the neighbor complained. The, na the neighbor literally complained, and I like the neighbor. <laughs> At least he didn't complain to the higher up. Derek is a higher up, but I was just about to say he can't kind of evict awkward. me. Derek can't evict. Me. <laughs> All right, huge shout out to Derek. He's the best, and he's a fan favorite around here. So every time he comes down here, it's a pleasure. In the last video, we have a clutch pedal. Now we have a brake pedal. We bled all that. Power steering, is a, we have a slight issue with that. The seal at the top of the rack is pissing like a little bit. Not pissing, it's leaking. We gotta get trans fluid. We ran the shifter cables. We have a shifter in it now. He's almost ready to roll down the street under its own power. Well, rip rip sideways down the street because it's gonna, this thing ain't gonna be straight like me. But yeah, let's, uh, let's get some trans fluid. Put it in the tranny so we're not running it dry. We still gotta bleed the coolant. So there's some stuff to be done. It's always the last 10% that sucks to do. It's like the little things you gotta button up. But this is why Drew, you know, he, he keeps me in check. He's gotta exactly. keep me in. Could call me in for the last 10%. That's what they call me, That's Mr. It. Last 10%. <laughs> All right, we might go grab some trans fluid from Porsche, but in the meantime, let's throw the uh, plastic all in the front area here and see what we have to trim, because this might interfere with those pieces. That's pretty much the front cover, and then we gotta put the top one on, but we'll probably wait for that. But considering that power steering right there, it fits pretty good. But we're gonna head to Porsche and get some OEM fluid for the trans. Exciting stuff, people. Let's go to Porsche. And there once a week. That's that shit. Me and Ants. Our weekly trip. Look at that. The light. No center lock. I'll take it though, still. That red bone. Red seat belts. Back to the shop, shall we? Brian supposedly is gonna bring us a bleeder for the coolant, but we'll see. He seemed a little- if he iffy. doesn't come through, we're just gonna have to buy one. Yeah, Harbor, Harbor Freight does sell one, but we can't be waiting around for Brian. He's, he's busy. Stinks. Not that bad. Oh, so they put some shit in it. Or they probably just couldn't get all of it out. Then we'll grab Jimmy's little pump. And I believe it takes a little under three quarts. So, like I showed you guys, we got the stuff. 7590 GL5. James, no way you just mangled the can. I was gonna keep the can. Shut up. You're the one who <laughs> fucked this thing up. <laughs> yeah. I ripped the top off of it. Who the fuck is this now? No way they're doing a drug deal in front of the shop. I have no idea. Carter, who is that? Carter, are you buying drugs in front of the shop? Selling drugs? <laughs> he goes, yes. 
clue. They're doing like a meat meet and greet. A drug and meat. They were, they were grilling like crazy in the Jimmy shop. Were they? Yeah. Tell them to not look over there, maybe. All right, so about to put it in. Now we can Aunt, go knock someone out, please. <laughs> this is Aunt's favorite thing to do, low key. I said the manual pump, James. You know, you put it right in the bucket. No, he I'm said not. absolutely not. The worst when you're on your car and you're like pushing against the chassis and then like it breaks. Pump stops. Yeah, the handle breaks off. Yep. And you go to the Every time. <laughs> There's no nice way to do this. No, but this is nice. This is a nice way. Shout out to you for having it. I think Ant made you buy that, correct? Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> the time has come. This car has not been on the ground time in. To come. How long has it been, roughly? Three months, been airborne for? I think you made quick work of the car, you've been dragging ass. I've been dragging ass? I'm just, yeah, no, I'm saying you still make quick work of it. Yeah. You've been dragging ass. Yeah, I haven't been like, you get burnt out, James, you know. I know. Can't work on this. It's, you know what sucks, it's not building season. It's not, like, July, yeah. August is not building seasons. If you're building cars in July, August, you fucked up. I fucked up. Like, that might as well fucked me up. Yeah, I, every year, I, there's like a void of July and August that you just like, you can't build cars. Then. You want to like go outside, enjoy your cars, but then you get fixated. And it's so freaking hot, you don't want to do anything. You're burnt out because you were building all winter. Carter you, fucked up too. Carter fucked up bad. Everyone, yeah. We fucked oh, up. A whole lot of us. <laughs> so our cars are going to be great and it's going to be fucking Halloween snowing. You good, Ant? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. I think it's off the locks. Are we caught on sign? Oh, that's not a bad idea. Nah, fuck it. That was a good idea, though. Do you know how much, what the weight difference is between the LS and the stocks? I think the LS is lighter. 100 pounds lighter. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You can tell by the hell jacked up the rear is. I know, that's I what it, it'll, it'll go down, but. No, I don't like that. It's got like rake. Yeah, it looks bad. Reverse it's rake, that's bad. not it. No, that's not the rake. So we're gonna try to, I don't wanna push it outside, that's not fun. It's either gonna drive outside under its own power. Or get pushed. Not get pushed, no. Or get pushed, yeah. But we're gonna try to drive it out since the shifter cables and everything are hooked up. There. Start it. Let's go. Come hey, on. Have you heard this hog yet? I think so. Yeah, it sounds like Grave Digger. <laughs> <laughs> nah, this is Wilbur. <laughs> Wilbur climbing to the window. The pig? What? Just start the damn car. I gotta go and admit it. <clears throat> I don't know if it's gonna start, so. Don't stand in front, it might be in gear. <laughs> No, Sam, make a cat. What? <laughs> right up. Here, shit. What? What? Oh, wow. <laughs> It's so much louder on the ground now that now the exhaust is so low. It's fucking resonating. He gonna hit this shit? I'll be fine. It's, look at it, it's moving under its own weight for the first time. Right here. It's exciting <laughs> stuff. God damn. Rolled under its own power. Come That's over here, they can't hear you. Rolled under its own power. Yeah, I mean, I can't, I can't. I have lo a loss for words he's trying to yeah, say. I can't talk. It's a lot. Fucking sick that we just drove it out of the job. That's pretty fucking cool. I'm happy TJ like balled on an engine. Like <laughs> honestly, like you ever hear reports that sound like this? <laughs>
got to say about that, Ant? Not much to say. Huge moment. Yeah. That Threw it right out. undertaking, craziest thing you've built. No. Not the craziest. I don't know. Well, swap wise, yeah. It yeah. Was, it, you, it's really. It wasn't that difficult. It was just. It's not bullshit with anything. Yeah, you know. Trying to. It's a completely new chassis. But at the end of the day, it's ri they're not that. It's, no, they're very simple to work on. Given the name Porsche, they're they're pretty simple to work on. Gotta bleed the coolant so because you can't really like drive it around the parking lot as much as I want to. Ryan said he has a bleeder, so we're gonna see if he comes through with it. It's a huge moment, people. It's huge. Well, there's no coolant. This thing is poor engine. I know. It's okay. it's we were trying to bleed the system. Uh, yeah. So Volkswagen, Audi, Porsche, Euro European. It's supposed mm. to be like a self bleeding thing, but I don't. I think it's air locked, right? So if there's no water in your water pump. Can't pump air. This was your water pump, so can you confirm? Did it yeah, open up? What? Yeah, pumped water. <laughs> but it needs water in it to pump, so we're gonna try and get as much coolant in the system right now through the upper hose. Called cavitation, yeah, right? Sure, it? sure DJ. <laughs> Let's fill her up. We just cavitated the system with about three gallons That's, of coolant, yeah. and now Brian did bring a, a vacuum bleeder, but it doesn't work. So we're gonna it works, do it, it the old-fashioned way. There's water behind the pump. She ain't got no gas. Carter did say he had a nice jump pack somewhere. I need to fucking buy a tractor trailer one. It's a very hard system to bleed because it holds seven gallons of coolant. So we're gonna let it run for a little and see what happens. Put one, two, there's like five and a half this gallons. Empty, empty. Nothing. You, put, you, you just put, I didn't know you just put a gallon in the fucking thing and said this will work. Uh -uh. Yeah. I would have had you not run it as long. Yeah, it'll be fine. It's an LS, right? Aren't these like stout? You know? Yeah, don't be saying that. It's bad juju. This, yeah. this, it'll ne this will never blow up this motor. Me, me, and, me and Brian have both murdered LS's at this point. Yeah. I'm gonna join the club. Should I? No, please no. It's a shit feeling. Well, Ask me and Bray. Financially, that's a shitty feeling. It's a shitty feeling all around. So we're gonna run it and see if we, the thermostat will open, which I'm pretty... It backfed into the water pump, which is huge news. Yeah. That's huge. I don't think I said this. We just took off the upper radiator hose and just force fed it. Cool. Like in it. So don't we go through that. the system. Yeah, force it. We just fed it. Jacked it, it up. Took it and it like he put it. like three gallons. He goes, You think we should put more? I said, Does it take it? He goes, Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just afraid of a cool knee because this thing has so many leaking points. Yeah, there is mad connection points that's underneath the car. Like oh. 20. Who's that, bro? That's your boy doing duck, drug deals in the parking lot. Well, this car hasn't ran in a while. 
God, that blew up. God, that thing is so freaking loud. But uh, it is now maintaining operating temp, or it, it seems to be. There might be some more air in the pockets, but it's enough to drive it around. It's good. It's got heat. Thermostat seems to have opened, and so should be good enough to put around now. It's just so freaking loud, dude. Like a chopper, I keep saying. Like you don't like a build chopper. Yeah. Nah. I hope he. I hope the brakes work. They good. Bad pressure. Looks so cool. <laughs> it looks like a Tonka truck. What was that? It looks like a Tonka truck from the back. He tested the brakes. That's good. Smart man. In a second. You'll know in a second. No, it didn't want to. Uh, that might be a little cable adjustment issue. The shift. Second gear doesn't work, but it's fucking so Trying to double clutch it. What do you think, Meg? Crazy. Going. Where are you going, Donald? Oh, he's spinning the block. Here he comes again. Mobile. You don't even need a seat in there. I have your vacuum. I think we're gonna, we're gonna leave the bumper off. It looks bad <laughs> with no bumper. Now. We need a bumper. <laughs> Can't find second though. No way he got nothing. it in second! Don't grind nothing! Alright, You found it? Yeah. What the fuck? Just don't shit like a pussy. <laughs> This thing's crazy. It's got all the torque. Um, I mean, it's the steering wheel. Amazing. It's gonna be really fast. What? It's gonna be really fast. I hope. Yeah, yeah duh. All right. That's that that is clear. sick. Thank you. Yeah, for sure. Try it. Don't take, take a thumbnail. Well, I would call that a, a great success. What are you looking for, Eric Carter? What are you looking for? Don't worry about it. Hi, how do we sound? How did it sound? A little yeah, obnoxious. It sounds pretty, little, pretty terrible everywhere else. Needs uh, a Z pipe. Sounds, sounds psychotic. 
What, good? It did sound cool for a second while they were, he, Jimmy floored it. That was cool. Yeah. Not, uh, everywhere in between. Not when I floored right it, yeah. Uh, well, well, it's open header. I know. It sounds like a speedboat. You asked me how it sounded. I was just saying. Yeah, I was just telling them. Don't shut that all the way. Oh, oh no, I got to I got to I got to shut the windows. Wait, wait, right when you first started it. You're probably, it's not going to start to come back in. We got the other jump pack. We're charging it. I gotta wash it. Look. What are you talking about? Let's clean. Yeah, because it's what? magic hour. Are you sure you can roll the windows up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Everything works. The fans work mind blowing. The power steering works amazingly. That didn't we, feel cool. We don't have coolant leaks. Well, yes, you do. One. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. You said you did. It just needs a whole, like a good clamp, and then we won't. But yeah, there. You have one coolant leak. Listen to it. Take it off. It, it sounds like it's gonna pop, but then it it simmers. Right, the car is off. That's that's what they call the valet pump. You don't need the car started. They could that's move the, it. That's a quick way to kill the battery. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, we're getting a Porsche battery for it. They sell them at Porsche. Yeah. It goes up. Yeah. Eh, new, we're having that issue. New car shit. But I mean, she drove. I'm stoked. So maybe I'll give it a quick wash because it is quite filthy. All right, after almost completing a swap, you drive it once and then you do what? You take it outside. You do wash it if you really like the car. I like the car. Yeah. Yeah. So I guess it deserves to be washed. It's been on a lift for a couple months. Yeah, it's been locked on the lift. The next car that goes on the lift is going to be a good one. Yeah, they don't know. Yeah. They don't know. Brian doesn't even know. So now this can move. We got to rearrange the shop a little bit. When's Brian going to work on his car? Brian's I next. I said Comment Brian. below. Tell him. Yell at him in the comments. Tell him let's get things rolling a little bit. It's so close. He's just stuck in the mud with it now. Yeah. I don't know why. So let's wash it. We'll roll some montage and um, enjoy. <laughs> Do look nice, but I mean, if it, ha it has its spots, and yeah, things and dents, and it's an 05, black. and black is cool. But I, I, I have a black car, a white car, and a red car. I mean, look at it, yeah. I mean, the, if nice. you look at the doors, it puts my they got a couple, in yeah, they got a couple things in it. As me and Aunt outdid ourselves on this one, Johnny better get ready. We need a full pipe on it soon. We need like a battery, we need a button up the interior, it still needs stuff, yeah. but it was so sick to see the car actually moving under its own power, driving around the parking lot, the brakes work. Honestly, it didn't have that many fails, failures as I thought, like, you know, no. what a fresh Not spot. really, there's one coolant leak, but it's so accessible, so. And it's just because there's like a, a push. Pinch uh, clamp. Yeah. If we put a hose clamp on it. Hey, RJ! RJ stole Jimmy's car. Yep, he's been driving the Miata. Well, Steph's car, technically. I Steph's think that Miata. is Steph's Miata. I'm gonna tell her. Well, that's what Jimmy said when he bought it. I bought it for Steph. Yeah, and now Art is driving it. Start looking into aero, suspension, wheels. You know? Let me know down in the comments below what wheels you guys think. I'm leaning more towards a, J towards a JDM style wheel. Meisters would be cool. I would hate Meisters, to be honest. TEs would be cool. I know, a lot of people put them on it. But yeah, this five yeah. by one thirty, you know, you, you go, you can get. Yeah, we're you gonna do some digging. Or wheel adapters. Yeah. I'm going to bed. All right, guys, we are back. The next day, last night, was surreal to say the least. It was a big moment. It was huge. This thing finally drove under its own power, and it felt insane at four thousand RPMs. So. Now, we gotta get a rear bumper so we can mock up an exhaust. Johnny, our neighbor, Little's Racing Innovations, is gonna build a gangster exhaust for the car. But I've been thinking we need another project. And I have a good candidate sitting outside. 
that I get countless DMs and comments, you guys saying, build the M3, build the M3. So, I think it's time that I listen to you guys and I do something cool with the car. That's basically gonna conclude it for this video and uh, stay tuned because Brian's car is gonna get some love too. Me starting the Porsche, I think lit a little fire under his ass. So it's good to see him get the ball rolling on that thing. So definitely stay tuned. I'm excited for this one and I hope you guys are too. Leave down in the comments of what you think. The 14 giveaway is still live on the site. There's about 60-ish spots left. So hopefully we could draw that this weekend and uh, definitely hit that subscribe button because like I said, Brian's car is next on the chopping block and we're gonna do something pretty sick with old red right here. So stay tuned. I'll catch you guys in the next one.